Welcome to MechWarrior Mercenaries 5. This is Shadow Coast, and we are about to launch into our first MechWarrior Mercenaries 5 campaign. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the Great Houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the Inner Sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. That's right, we are kicking off our MechWarrior Mercenaries 5 campaign. I've been looking forward to this game for a long while. I finally conceded and picked it up off the Epic Game Store. Unfortunately, you cannot buy it on Steam or GOG, uh, at least not for, I believe, another 6 to 12 months. I'm not sure how long the exclusive is with the Epic Game Store. The launch was a little bit of a debacle, but nonetheless, we're here today and we're going to enjoy. Cavalier Base, DeBerry Prime, 3015. Alright, we're going to kick this off. Now, in full transparency... Please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. I have not done any research or reviews I've been intentionally avoiding watching videos so you're gonna have to bear with me as I learn the game all right looks like we are last name Mason maybe whoa look how big that is look at the scale off the bat that is amazing Alright, that guy is finding board your mech in the hangar. Ah, there we go. I was making sure I didn't get crushed. I think this is going to be the tutorial. Look at this scale, I love it. Never really thought about, if I'm just a regular person, how big is this mech? It is pretty big. Hey, guy. Nice repairing, whatever that is. We're going to step up here. And it's going to lift us. Have you ever thought about how you get into the mech? Well, <laughs> it's not going to show us, unfortunately. But us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises though, eh? <laughs> and we're not Mason. We report to Mason. Go on and power her up. We are Good. 
online. Yeah, bringing up the systems now. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Alright, we're just assigning weapons groups. Alright. Alright, we're gonna increase. I think this is similar controls to MechWarrior Online. set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Alright. Press enter. LV. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay. Now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Go ahead and try auto-aligning the torso with your legs. Excellent. Now move your torso to the left or right. Then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. Alright, let's see how this works. The acceleration is not... Run the mobility course. Alright. Oh, oh boy. Um, I like how chunky this is. It's not as responsive. Definitely slower. Oh. Oh, we just knocked down a post. Wonder if that counts against us. Alright. Nice work. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Oi, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I've spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. Hmm. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Look at the skills of the various mechs, I love it. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. We, uh, we do have everything on maximum oh, settings, I believe. The leopards have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. Oh, they, they limit my speed. Is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break up mech. We need it in full working order. Alright, we're gonna step up to the firing Weapon course here. was nice all right let's well we just we fired all right there's some weight to it okay take note of your ammo levels always remember to manage your reserves you 
you run out of shells in the middle of a firefight, it could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Quiet. Target. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Hmm. Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Alright, let's... Where are we going? Oh, let's target acquired. Practice target the uh, using. Oh, gotta get used to it. It's not, you know, I'm used to MechWarrior Online. Very, a lot more responsive. Actually, like it. I like what they've done. It it feels very chunky and slow. Target acquired. Oh. Target destroyed. There's a min minimal range for LRMs, which is good to remember. quick guys we're gonna do controls jump jets relook um, increase zoom mouse wheel up ah uh, there we go I oh, already blew up that leg difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. Target acquired. Target. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head-to-head -head with an urban mech. They're slow and 
Alright. Perfect for this particular task. Poor Irby, he's hating on the Irby already. Cannot believe that. Alright. We are ready to take on an urban mech. Now the Irbys normally have an EC-10, which packs a punch. Oop, I got stuck. Enjoying it. Captain Mason, my sensors are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. I think he's in a victor. I'm showing over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. Whoa, what? Come on, let's go. We need to get back to the base. So, oh. Who is that? Weird sigils. They're doing a hot drop. Oh snap. That is a king crab. I don't think we're fit to get to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll so, catch up with you. Now go. We are Commander Mason. Commander, the base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Uh, yeah, copy that. All right, so we're Commander we Mason. Is your dead? I see, but you're too late. Oh, geez, under heavy fire. Oh, boy, do we not have any base defense? Ow, yeah, is that the base? There we go, take him out. Ooh. Gonna leave her dead? Hold on, Commander. I'm getting us out of here. For the cutscenes, I would have expected a little better graphical representation. You see 20 of that guy. Ooh. Can we give him some supporting cover from our dropship? Not really. Oh no. That guy just squashed his pal.
That was an intense intro. Alright, we need to speak to Rihanna on the bridge. 27th of May, 3015, to bury six days since the attack on Cavalier Base. Sorry to wake you, but our sitch rep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. So we are being chased. We are in a leopard dropship. Well, we have our captain's quarters. Nope. Oh, it wants me to stand here, it looks like. And Commander, clicky. good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? You're family, Rihanna. Or as close as I have now. Besides, I'm going to need you. Yes. I suspect you will. About Isitrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. All right, so I th think that's an assassin, so we should have an assassin, which is pretty cool mech. Can we, no, we can't, we can't outfit it. Um, and it looks like we have a, oof, that centurion does not look healthy. Look at that red CT almost. Um, I like the scale. Who's this guy? Carry on, carry on, good sir. Gonna head on down. How do I get down there? Ah, oh, there's another stairwell over here. Oof. The assassin looks like it's in good shape though. We can do some damage with this guy. Alright, so let's see. Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay 1 for now. She's a good girl. Won't let you down, you treat her right. I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill, access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, okay? Alright, so repairing your mech. There are two ways to repair all damaged armor, structure, weapons, and equipment on a mech. The first is with the repair mech button on the battle mech screen. So, repair mech. The second way is to click edit loadout on the next screen and you can click the repair all button to start work 
Both methods will ask you to confirm by starting the work order. The CBOs will be immediately deducted from your funds and work will be finished when the appropriate amount of time has elapsed. Note that this method will repair any damaged weapons or equipment but will not remove or replace them if they're destroyed. Okay. Warning, you are in a conflict or repairing and refitting a mech is more expensive and time consuming. So we have 2 million C bills. Um, paint mech. Oh, we can pick different colors. Or different um, layouts. Although it doesn't seem like Um, and this is a javelin, not an assassin. I was mistaken. The uh, the head setup. I'm not sure why I thought it was an assassin. Definitely a javelin. Um, can we? Let's reset. And. I primary white secondary black tertiary blue and the pattern Let's bring that blue up. Hmm. I'm not I'm not liking any of this. Maybe hot rod. Now we're gonna go with Crusader. All right, so edit loadout. Uh, repair all, AC 10, so 50. Um, what is this? Auto cannon to burst fire. That's it. I've never heard of a burst fire. Um, damage. It's a little bit better. When you look at heat 3.1, 3.12, so it's actually a little better. Um, We'll stick with it now. We'll worry about uh, different layouts and stuff. I'm not sure I like the uh, the setup. I'm not sure how to. Well, we're gonna start work 46 days. Holy smokes! That is expensive. Um. All right, well, good luck. We'll head back up. Hmm. I did not. So we have a few terminals here. Loadout, we got four medium lasers. Um, we'll have to figure out how this kind of works. Um, cause I'm kind of curious on how I impact jump jets and if we can trade off jump jets and heat sinks for armor and stuff. We'll figure that out as we go. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. 
Take a listen. Brianna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system, but it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right. Time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. All right, so smash and grab. Okay, Commander, I'm going to drop us down well away from the target location and let you do your thing. The target is an abandoned power plant. We know the Raiders have been using the area as a secret cache for whatever goods they've managed to pilfer from various mining outfits. So with a little luck, we'll be able to recover enough material to finish repairs on the Leopard and Centurion. These Raiders may be a band of thieves, but don't underestimate them. They'll be motivated to protect their loot, and you can bet they'll be well armed. Stay on point and watch your sixth commander. Good luck. All right, completion reward: fifty thousand sea bills. Seems like not a lot. All right. In the contracts tab, the available contracts are listed on the left. The employer potential payout before negotiations, difficulty and mission type of each contract are shown. Clicking on a contract shows you a description of the mission, information about the battlefield, the opposing faction, the mission's duration, the tonnage limit of your lance, and the negotiation terms. Smash and grab. Before you accept a mission, you're given the opportunity to negotiate the contract. You begin every contract with a base number of negotiation points based on the reputation of your mercenary company. <laughs> the base payout is a fixed amount that the contract will pay regardless if, if you succeed. The CBO payout, which can be negotiated, is an additional amount paid if you complete the contract's objectives. The sum of the base payout and the CBO payout is added together in the total potential payout below. Salvage shares are used after finishing a contract to claim mech weapons, mech weapon and equipment salvage from the battlefield. The more valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. Damage coverage is insurance that only pays out to cover the repair costs of damage suffered during this particular contract. All right. So negotiation points. So we could add here to get more. Salvage shares, we could get more damage coverage. So let's go with a SIBO payout. 30 limit ton. Um, oh, these are pilots. We don't have any pilots. We don't have any friends. So we should put ourselves in the mech so we're not running around on foot. That would be hard. So here we go. We're going to launch. Now you can play with friends. I don't know if I have any friends that have Mech Warrior 5. Uh, but if I do, we might run some missions together and I'll be happy to post those. Kind of a longer load time than I would expect. So I am healthy. See my status over here. All right, here we go. A lot I like, some of it I don't. The graphics leave something to be desired. 
a little surprised, but Piranha doesn't have kind of the best graphics in general. Gonna power up. So we are going to power up so we're not dead in the water when we're dropped. Alright. Okay. The abandoned power station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the path undetected. Copy that. Good hunting, Commander. Alright, so both are internal or that 97 but what it lacks in firepower and armor it makes up in speed and mobility good try Rihanna but I'd still rather have the Centurion well can't blame a girl for trying to get to the enemy base the power station being used by these raiders is derelict commander but you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Oh. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a raider patrol. Oh. Alright, so for range we have to kind of, we're already yellow, this is going a lot more, oh jeez. I played this one wrong by a lot. Is it still alive? I'm wondering if. Ow. Our right arm is severely injured. I'm not close enough to understand their oh boy. Ow. Okay. We step on these guys. Oh. We'll see. I am heavily damaged. If you look at the bottom left, this is not the cakewalk, cakewalk I thought it would be. Kind of regretting not getting damage insurance. Should 
Oh. They have helicopters? Oh boy. as we go see like the ground texture seems pretty good but then when we zoom out the I guess the mech isn't horrible I just was kind of expecting a little more we'll try this third person view for a little bit okay there's the geothermal power plant up ahead there's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate the storage crate, mark it for pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. Roger that. Oh. All right. All right. So even the third person view is a little bit more difficult than. Oh no! How do we mark it? I'm not sure how this works. Do I blow it up? I don't know. I'm so confused. Locate. And mark the storage crates. Ah. Here we go. Alright, there we go. Oh. So this is a lot. You gotta get used to it. It's not just. Alright. Alright, there are no more salvage crates, which is clear. This is our kind of first official actual mission, so I always expect a little hiccup. Um, Recon Target acquired. New target acquired. 
Oh no, move. Break is kind of important. Okay, got it. Keep looking. All right. Nice. All right, that should do it. Go ahead and meet me at the exfiltration point. If you see anything worth blowing up on your way out, say a weapons depot or something, I want objects. <laughs> Understood. Really? Oh. I was wondering about that while well, I'm just hanging around. Oh boy. Hundred percent destroy the weapons depot. Is that the weapons depot? I don't think that was the weapons depot. Yeah, that's definitely not. This is the weapons depot. Um. an arm we did lose an arm all right so like the, the one thing I can't really tell is when we're getting shot at be nice to have some sort of warning so there's an optional Kind of confused. What do you want us to? 
Okay. Watch her heat. Optional missions. Oh, geez. What the heck? Um. Walking over them, it's kind of easier. No, there's one more. Well, that was absolutely terrifying. I'm kind of surprised. Made it out. How does this work? I don't want to get crushed. Like, okay. Well, that took way more damage than I probably needed to. Lost an arm. Mission complete. Reputation. I get a pick two. Um, I'll pick the most expensive ones. Leveled up. Increase the chance of avoiding enemy fire. Damage cost 63,000. Nice work, Commander. We were able to recover the materials we needed from that raider, Cash, and Farhad has already started the repairs to the Leopard and Citrain. We made him a very happy man, though I doubt he'll admit it. Oh. Hey, boss man. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stalls in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this shit needs a lot of loving, eh? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said, nice job, Alex. Your old man will be proud. Now if there's nothing else gonna get back at you, all right, lot of work to do. Story of my life. All right, so... Repair mech. Start. Alright, I think they happen in parallel. So I'm hoping we're okay. I'm gonna run up the stairs. Oh. Talk to Rhina, and then we're gonna call this an episode. Good work with those raiders, Commander. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're gonna have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Things go well. They've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. 
Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Sears sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Roger that. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so we will access the home screen, but we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of MechWarrior Mercenaries 5 in this campaign, drop me a comment or throw me a thumbs up and I'll be happy to post more. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode. Shadow Coast out.